If I'm him, I'm not doing any of this. What type of non-ho activity is this? Get a yacht. Michael Blaustein doing stand-up comedy where I will tell you June 23rd to the 24th, I'll be in San Francisco, California. Two out of the four shows are already sold out, so go get tickets before you cannot. July 6th to the 9th, I'll be in Washington, D.C. All shows are low tickets. July 21st to the 22nd, I'll be in Sacramento, California. August 10th to the 12th, I'll be in Indianapolis. August 25th to the 27th, I'll be in Oxnard, California. September 7th to the 9th, I'll be in Madison, Wisconsin. September 15th to the 17th, I'll be in Irvine, California. September 28th to the 30th, I'll be in Denver, Colorado. October 5th to the 7th, I'll be in Nashville, Tennessee. And guys, go on website. Many, many more dates. Also, sorry, one more. October 21st, Wilbur Theater. We added a second show. Go get tickets. Go get tickets. Go get tickets. Blockcomedy.com. Blockcomedy.com. Mr. Wallace. Trevor Wallace, I will be in Stamford, Connecticut next weekend doing five shows. It's a not too big of a club, so get those tickets. are almost all sold out. Uh, then we just added Long Beach on June 22nd. June 22nd, we're going to be in Long Beach for one show at the Laugh Factory. Going down to San Diego the 23rd of... Going down to San Diego June 23rd and June 24th. That's a Friday, Saturday, four shows at the Laugh Factory San Diego. And then we got Santa Barbara just added. Santa Barbara June boop, boop, boop. 30th. June 30th. Probably going to add a late show. Tickets are moving. Get your tickets on the first one in case we don't. Tempe, Arizona. Moving to fucking and grooving. July 6th through the 8th. Phoenix, Tempe, Scottsdale, Hose, it shows, baby. I'll be there July 6th through the 8th. And uh, what's then next? Austin, all sold out. Bah, 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 bah. Three shows <clears throat> for the special. Sold out. If you bought any of those tickets or even considered buying one, I love you. It's I'm running the hour for all these. I'm so fucking excited. Um, yeah, I nothing to say, but thank you. TrevorWalsComedy.com. I'll see you there. Do you know how to write in cursive? I don't know. <laughs> What did you say to me? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Do I know how to write? No, kind you know of. how to write in cursive. Of course. Do you? Yeah, it's just italics, but a little more drunk. Just a little like tilted on the side. Do they, they don't teach it anymore. What can you curse it for? That's what I'm saying. Does it matter how you sign your signature when you're signing a receipt? Yep. It really? I don't know. No. At I don't... the coffee shop, when they're like, uh, please sign here, I just draw fucking eight equals D. It's a cock. Yeah. I just draw a swastika and they go, what? And I go, get my coffee. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> For free. That doesn't make any sense. I did the I did sign the receipt. I can't tip anyone anymore. It's over. It's Leave just me on alone. everything. Leave me it's alone. It's on everything. Leave me alone. Dude, I went through a toll booth. The person was like, tip me. <laughs> Bitch, for what? <laughs> really? No. It is on Why? everything, though. You know what's going to happen next is stewardesses on freaking airlines. Stewardesses. Nah, well, what maybe. Are the, what are the gentlemen's names? Stu stewards? Stewart. Little. That's a movie. <laughs> he is. Haven't He's also little it. and huge. Is Stuart Little a mouse? Stuart Little is a mouse. Why? <laughs> First of all, why do all the mouses go up the clock? Why the fuck <laughs> they do that? You know oh, what I mean? No. Three. Trying First to start all, a TikTok. The Kill me. <laughs> Hold on. The mouse. Were, the mices were blind. Three, Three blind, blind, blind of them. It's funny that <laughs> they just they just hung out together. I would, well, but, no, but nobody tried to help them out. Nobody tried to be like, yeah, let's get a chaperone. Also, LASIK. Three. What? Oh. <laughs> Were they Lace actually? Were Do you they need glasses, or are you just wearing them to wear them? I Trying need them. Hot. I need them uh, for reading. What the fuck are you reading on a podcast? Your thoughts. Honey, turn my dick off. What am I thinking right now? You're hungry. Horny. You Close. <laughs> Isn't it insane? Horniness is so hilarious. You be sitting there reading Catch on the Rye, and then all of a sudden you come across a word that says smooth and hot, and you go, you know what's smooth and hot? Tits, Did vagina. I'm two, trying to come. You see two periods next to each other, you go, put some parentheses around that. Tits. <laughs> Those do look like tits. All middle school was was trying to make tits out of not tit objects. 80085 on a calculator? That was the original OnlyFans. Boobs. Boobs. Do you spell boobies? You ever do, try to do tits on an Etch-a-Sketch? Me neither, but I wish I did. Oh, man, dude, you, those those bracelets, I Love Boobies bracelets, they were like banned at our school, but like if you wore one, you were the biggest badass. Yeah, that and a Bob Marley t-shirt. That was your yeah. high school. Yeah, no, but literally, it's like you had the word boobies on your wristband, or on your wrist, and everyone's like, whoa, this guy's probably seen a tip before. But isn't that funny that no, you didn't? What was the first date you ever saw besides your mom's? I know it. Water park. <laughs> whoa. I, did I I own, fall did out? I, yeah. There was at Six Flags, there was this like area where this water park was like splashed like giant buckets. Yeah. Oh, and this yeah. lady was holding her baby and she didn't know she was under it. She got splashed. Yeah. And I think it was her right tit popped out. And then what happened? Bro. 
The entire water project I became stopped. a man. Yeah. Yeah. I remember staring at it like I wanted to like look away because it was a point in my life where like I was like, ew, gross cooties. But then the other yeah. part of my life was like, hold up. Maybe cooties are worth it. Isn't it funny so, that dude. when you're young, you go, ew, cooties. And then you wake up on a Tuesday and you go, dude, I will catch every STD cooties that there ever was possible. Circle, circle, Someone... dot, dot. Bitch, bring me a thought, thought. <laughs> Honestly, that's not the title. Everyone that's here's got to be a young gravy bar somewhere. But yeah, there, there's a point where you're like, "Ew, gross, girls." And then what happens? Is it a hard change, or is it like, "Ew, gross"? Well, okay. I think you don't have any testosterone, and ah. the moment you're sleeping, and the testosterone fairy, which is definitely Vin Diesel, comes <laughs> <laughs> and he just gives you testosterone underneath your pillow. You eat it, and then you go, "Wow, vagina's worth going to North Carolina for." Where are you going this weekend? <laughs> where am I going this weekend? North Carolina. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. It's funny how just you're so like, no, no, no. And then you're like, okay, okay. But are you ever no, no, no? Or is that just like, you're, it's just I mean, you're younger, you're yeah. You're like, ew, no, gross, gross, But cooties. I don't think I ever was like that. I think I was doing it because everyone else was doing it. Really? But I was like, ew, gross, gross, gross. But inside I was like, I fuck a pillow with my mom's laundry on it. Why am I saying no, and no, And how gross, old gross. were you for this? Ten? I'm saying like age is like seven. Oh, Yeah. Seven, you don't want cooter. That was the best time of your life. When you can walk <laughs> you around want and you just want to play Legos and shoot baskets and you don't even think about women. You know how much I got so much accomplished? I got so much Play-Doh eating days. <laughs> just shoving Play-Doh in my the face. Most, yeah, that's funny. Your most productive days were like spent around Legos and G.I. Joes. Yeah, I didn't try to solve For one. what? I know. I didn't try how to. How many jokes did you write when you were seven? Idiot. Zero. You don't want it. Honestly, bro, when I was six or seven, if I invested in Bitcoin, fuck. Is it, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, but also imagine being six or seven, being at playground. Somebody's like, oh, I have tapioca. I'll give you a Bitcoin for it. Honestly, bro, back in the day. Give a dog hair on your face. Thank you. Can I get it for you? Oh, oh you got it. Did I get it? You got it. I did feel a little. A little something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You ever be on a date and you're like, I feel something? You ever have an a itchy asshole during a date? That was me last night. What? She was talking about some nonsense. I wanted to stop her like, hey, stop. My ass itches. But you can't do that. Well, I have a lot of questions. All right. Why does it itch? Where are you? I don't How did you solve it? Dude, I think like, I think Who, life. Where, when, why? I think life just makes your butt itch. And I don't know what it is. It's because you fucking, you do dry, wet, then dry. And crumpled up. Like, yeah. That, then your I ass think that's is, the problem. I think dude. your ass gets the worst treatment out of your entire body. Um, yeah, in life. Like, like, Gigi gets better treatment than your ass. I think so. She's also in a. She, cage, she's in her little bag. Is she she looks so you? sad in there. No, dude, she loves it. Did Bro, you see you, it? I told I we were off before we press record. I said, get in your house. In three seconds, in her house, lay down. She loves it. This is how she spends all her time when she's on the airplane. She says nothing. Everyone goes, really? Whoa, I didn't even know there's a dog there. What is she thinking about? <laughs> suicide. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do dogs have suicidal thoughts? What? It's not even a sentence. And back in. Do dogs have suicidal thoughts? Of course. You think so? Dude, when they hear another dog barking, what do you think they're saying? Hey, good to see you again. Oh, like, Get right. me out of here. Oh, my Woo! God. I smell Jiffy over there. <laughs> Dude, I always look at GJ. I go, Burr. what'd I say? I said something. At some point, mm, one bar has got to mean something. Or is that like going to Paris and like, oh, oh. they're like, you fucking idiot. That's not even that. close. It's that. It's that. 100% that. Yeah. What the hell do animals be saying? Uh, my cat meows so much in the mornings, but then that's it. The rest of the day, quiet. Mornings. Maybe What's she's going trying on? to get energy out. I don't know. I don't know. But you ever think about like when dogs run into the street and like, oh my God. Oh no. It's like, well, maybe he, maybe your house sucks. Oh, he's and trying he just to, to end it. Trying to end it. What are you hit by a toilet tracel versus <laughs> being fucking home waiting for you to come back from the fucking bean factory you work at? Yeah. What do you do if your dog doesn't run to the door for you? Honestly. That's a cat. Yeah. You have to return it. This is broken. Come here. <laughs> fucking wag. Love me. I mean, if your dog doesn't love you, you know how unlovable you are if a golden retriever doesn't love you? I think that's a test. If I think you have a golden retriever. You? you bring well, dude. Honestly, sometimes when women come over and and Gigi like doesn't, you know, doesn't give him a ton of love. Mm. I'm like, this woman's either not real. Gigi got that motherly instinct. She does. And the you know what's a really nice moment? The moment that a girl comes over the second time and then Gigi doesn't bark and like gives her love. I go, okay, she's in. What? Not in, but you know what I mean. She passed the test. Yeah, the yeah. Because yeah. Gigi sometimes don't be liking people. Any Amazon driver, she'll kill you. You got a fucking Amazon driver. That's a real test. Me? That's how, yeah. Oh. That's how you get over her yelling at drivers. 
right? Because if she's always honking at, or honking, barking at, <laughs> what the fuck's going on? Whoa. I'm so pissed in my brain. No, I got this ample actually, sleep. What? This is actually kind of brilliant. Honking is, or barking is That's just what a dog's say. Bark, uh, dog's honk. honk. Well, this is yelling a human honk. Hey! That is. Yeah. God damn. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. What is BetterHelp, Michael Blaustein? Mr. Wallace, I will tell you what BetterHelp is, dude. It's online therapy. None of this drive to the office, waiting, traffic. No, dude, everything online. You can do it on your phone. You can do it on your freaking laptop. And obviously, we all know that we're big proponents of therapy. I go to therapy. You go to therapy. It really helps find your, just your inner happiness, dude. Big, huge proponent of BetterHelp. I think it's awesome. And the interface is incredible, really user-friendly. I mean, we both use it, it's very helpful. Every time I think I don't need it, I start talking, start opening up, I go, oh, there it is. Yeah, every time I'm about to go to therapy, I go, man, I don't wanna do this, I'm so upset. And then I go to therapy, and I, I literally hang up the freaking phone, and I go, wow. Yup. Didn't know. Didn't know that was needed to be unpacked. Didn't know I was Women attracted to a it. goat. <laughs> That's the second time you mentioned a goat in the last few episodes. Well, clearly we're going to get you on going twice a week to better help, but it's a great way to just try it. You know, it's from the comfort of your own home. See if it's for you or not. You know, at least you don't have to drive down the 405 to talk to a man in Sawtell. So this is good. <laughs> this is nice. Give it a shot. So find more balance today with better help. It's very simple to use. And we also have a promo code. Get 10% off your first month Whoa. by using betterhelp.com slash socks. That's betterhelp.com. H E L P. That's better help. H E L P dot com slash socks. God damn. No, what I don't get is why did I get ample amount of sleep? I drank coffee, I had a fucking Celsius in my ass, and I'm still tired. What is happening? I don't know, dude. I don't know. It's gray matter. You know, that's why we sleep. We try to get rid of gray matter. What? I don't fucking know. I listened to one podcast. I was barely listening. Sleeping is so you ever, dumb. You ever, it's so dumb. You Even lay sleeping. there. Oh, hey, Idiot. I'm recharging. Can I just do it? Can I, ch you know how like you can still use your iPhone when it's charged, when it's charging? Yeah. Why the fuck can't you do that? Yeah, Why exactly. Why can't I sleep but not sleep but do work but I'm do charging? Do my tax while I'm sleeping and dreaming about gargoyles. Who the hell still does their taxes? <laughs> I mean, who the fuck? Who's, who uses TurboTax like, oh, I wonder what this, you don't everybody, know what you're doing. Everybody does. You, you work at fucking Hardee's. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I tried to maybe okay. Let me take a step back. Maybe I'm just a maybe everybody I'm just still does their idiot. taxes. No, no, I'm saying, no, no, I'm saying. This is coming from you, the guy that got threatening letters from the IRS like all of last year. Remember? No, I know. I yeah, I owe them so is much this money. Something you really want to put on? Uh, you know, 4K cameras? No, 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 no. no. I, I I I think I misspoke. I'm still, oh, 100. I, I people should do the taxes. What I'm saying is when people actually physically do like when they go on TurboTax. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. What do you Who's mean? Who's doing what, that? What are, they, what are they supposed to do? I don't know, get someone. The point because I was Turbo I was, taxes for people who are like, I'm 22. What the fuck's going on in life? I need this immediately. I did. That's why I like that's to like, that's why I like to rescind my last comment because I tried to do TurboTax one time and I bombed. And maybe I'm just an idiot. And maybe everyone's like, TurboTax is super easy. You're dumb. You know what's funny is I use TurboTax still because in my brain I think that the IRS when they look at it goes. Oh, he used TurboTax. Let's move on to the next one. You know, I think you're no, right. No, I think if someone uses TurboTax, they text through WhatsApp, aka they're a felon. They're on the run. Oh, <laughs> 100%. Texting through WhatsApp if you live in the States to another person in the States, you're doing something shady. Yeah, there's you no own gophers somewhere illegally. Yeah, yeah. You jerk off to Rumble. There's some, something, <laughs> something weird's going on here. I, okay. You, but Turbo, have you ever tried TurboTax? No. They ask questions. They're like, I don't know what's happening. Like, like what? They does numbers. What's a 181086B? Bitch, I don't got no kids. What if someone knocked on your door and was like, I'm your kid? What do you do? Push him downstairs? No, you big daddy. You take him in. No. Then you go to the supermarket and get hose. I'm going I'm a dilf. I'm going straight to the blood bank. Check this. Is this mine? Did you see the article? There's a guy, he's getting his son's blood. He's like a millionaire, billionaire, whatever the fuck. And he's using his son's blood to put in himself to look younger. It was a vice thing. What the fuck is vice doing? Are they, didn't they go under? Up. Yeah. I don't know if they went fully under. I don't know. Anyways, they're talking about people donating blood. Would you put your son's blood in your body? Yes. Really? I made that motherfucker. It's my blood. Give me my blood back. Eh. Yeah. I don't That's know. That's my hard. I have a hard stance on kids. That's mine. You, what? You fucking cut your, your kid's hand off. Yeah, it's my hand. I'll do what I want. But then your dad transit property cut your hand off. Not now. I'll beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't see this? Tech billionaire. Oh! You saw this? 
Tech billionaire who spends $2 million a year to look young is now swapping blood with his 17-year-old son and 70-year-old father. Dude, dude, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's this guy's name? Um, Hold on. Is this the mother... Subscription. Oh, God. Mm -mm. So... Absolutely. First of all, can fuck I you. You have to get a subscription to read. Kill yourself. Go. I don't, I don't know if I can say this, but I'll say it anyways. That, yes, this is the guy. So I have a friend of a friend who used to date this guy. What? This guy came to my show. You at know Troubadour. this guy? I mean, I talked to him for five minutes. He speaks English, not just goddamn wingdings. Yeah, this guy got, hello, I am. That's what he says the whole time. I go, did you like the show? He goes, I am, I am. Funny. <laughs> You know this guy? I mean, I don't know him. Did yeah, you, that's him. You, you've met him. Yes, he went to my show at Troubadour. I met this guy. You have met the Blood Bank Boy. Yeah, Blood what is Blood Bank Boy. Yeah, he spends like so much amount of time and energy and money into trying to, uh, like cheat death. Did you do crowd work on him? I didn't know. Imagine that. I didn't know that he was in the crowd. Okay, well, let's go to that uh, photo on the right, two rows down. Oh, so that must be his. Dad and his son. <laughs> that the hand placement is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a, like a pregnancy what, photo. What do you mean? Doesn't <laughs> that? That's what. Also, every photo, engagement photos, pregnancy photos are always outside. It's always dusk. The sun's coming down. And it, it, there's just allergies in the season. What? And they're always happy. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, they ain't happy. But they're always like touching their foreheads Why together. He's choking his dad. What's happening? This That's what I'm saying. Transfusion. He's getting the blood from his dad, putting this himself, and he's getting the blood from his son, and they're all m matching. This looks like they're all fucking. I, I, I'm, <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna just call it out. But this is weird. No. Yes, this is crazy. <laughs> this is yes. This is one of the weirdest things that's ever but happened in America. There's the Michael. I know. In the beginning, you're like, wait, I think I know this guy. He was on my show, and I'm oh, like, oh, oh, I, oh, I, I didn't right, even... but like, look at this. This is bizarre. They fuck each other. <laughs> <laughs> they don't? Tell me they don't. I, I, I Just say yes. <laughs> no, no, they, they probably don't. I mean, they, they kiss on lips for sure. <laughs> they exchange blood. You don't think they exchange uh, semen? Oh, man. I just... Go back to okay, that. Is, there is any, that guy naked? Is there any doctor who's like, this is what you do? I mean, he's in great shape. I'll say that. Yeah, but it's from a tonal. Would, it's from a tonal, not from fucking yeah, blood. Dude, I'd rather drink a that little bit of celery juice every once in a while. That hand placement's crazy, dog. If my dad ever touched oh, me like that, he... I would beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, look at that. His fingertips are right next to the rivet on his jeans. My dad's hands haven't been that close to me since he jerked me off. <laughs> look at that, dude. That's insane. And the, and the, the, the son's, son's like, let me get in here. I know. It's just bizarre. I, if I was the son, I'd be like, sure, Dad, you can take the blood. I don't want to be a part of this. Yeah, oh, yeah. You would think it would be like, yeah, hey, kid, mm -hmm. I'll give you 30 grand for your blood. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. like... You're a billionaire. Give me more money than that. But the dad sold his company for like $180 million or something? More, I think. Some crazy... He says he's a billionaire. He did brain a... tree. Wow. Or a blueprint? I don't fucking... All of those. Yeah, blueprint. Dude, if you're, I mean, here, I take everything back. If I was a billionaire, I would be trying to live as long as I want to. Of course. I'd be doing some weird shit. I wouldn't be doing it with my son and my dad who's dead. Nah, look, I, I would click, do. Click who, the dad. He's definitely killed someone. Look, click at the dad. They look, look love into his eyes. Tops. Look into his eyes. Oh, yeah. You don't yeah. think he's murdered someone? That's a guy who shot somebody in the back of the head in a Pontiac. First of all, he looks a little bit like Joe Biden's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, wait, go to the, hit, click a button on the right. That's not the next slide. Keep going, <laughs> keep going, keep going. Yeah, that one right there. These honestly look like hard album covers, but I for what a bluegrass band? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But dude, that's the I, worst song. Here's the thing: some Christian rock shit. The dad's in like good shape, you know. But if I'm gonna spend and put other people's blood in there, wouldn't you be like, hey, I don't know, all of Chicago Bulls roster? Mm -hmm. Let me get a let me get a QP. Yeah, let me get a court. Yeah. Also, if I'm, I'm the dad, I mean, how much money? If your son comes to you like, I want some blood, and the, the son's a billionaire, I'm like, I need 30 hoes, a Bentley, and $100,000 in my Wells Fargo immediately. Oh, all that. My blood. All of that. I worked so hard Especially for this. Especially as a son. You're like, you know, the youngest one, too. You're like, oh, Dad, this is weird. Oh, whoa. Two million dollars. Oh, airdrop. of course. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. But like, what if is- If I was a son, I'd put some toxins in my blood. He's dead. Just, then I'd take his money. I just have a lot of questions. I have all of the questions. Is it 
actually scientifically better. Let's get him on the podcast. More photos to the right, please. So he has the heart of a 37 year old. How old is he? And he's 45. But he had somebody Im implant that? I don't know how or they measure it. Or because of how much blood he has, it's like slowed yeah. down to a 37 year old. Yeah, it's slowed down to a 37 year old. What the fuck? Slow yeah, down. Yeah, but like, dude, I know a lot of 37 year olds that vape daily and they can't make it up a flight of stairs. They're like, <gasps> Also, doing all this for four years, not enough. Yeah, that's I know that saying. math's wrong, but <laughs> you got it. <laughs> but I'm saying if <laughs> that's I'm, the weirdest picture but I've if ever seen. I'm gonna, that's a cool album cover. If I'm gonna go to the point where I'm putting in somebody else's blood, wouldn't you make it like fucking D1 22 year old athlete? Yeah, I call Sean Camp immediately. So if you're 70 and you have a heart of a 25 year old, is it? Are you allowed to date a 25-year-old? Is it less weird? Check. I mean, if you're 70, Check. you can date a 25-year-old. <laughs> I know, but like, Yeah, but weird. like, that sounds like a drunk guy thinking, I got the heart of a 25-year-old <laughs> and the soul of a 19-year-old. That doesn't, no, it's about you. What? It's about like, it's you. You were born. This is oh, you, how yeah, you yeah, look. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but know? what if you look 25? You, if listen, but, but if you look 25 going by, but you're 70? If you're 70, technically you can date an 18 year old. Weird as fuck. <laughs> yeah. But you can do it. But if you look like one. Look like what? If you look like an 18 year old. Yeah. At 70? At 70. Dude, there's no so way in. If you look like an 18 year old at 70. Because that's what's going to happen done. in the future if this it is. works. Well, that he's gonna be. Everyone's probably making fun of this guy, but he's probably doing crazy things to. He was make, on the fucking DJ Vlad interview. What the fuck? I mean, dude, this guy's a billionaire. He's doing so much shit. Like, I remember, that is true. I remember hearing his like daily routine of like things. It's it's this insane. is all the supplements he takes every day. Dude, I take vitamin C, and I'm like, whoa, I'm really doing it right. Look at this guy. Twenty seven supplements daily. Can you imagine, dude? He knew about him being being a vitamin shop next to him. That's all you need. One customer. <laughs> Look at that. He shoves an entire vitamin S in his urethra every day. What is that? But, but is he that much? I mean, obviously he's that much healthier, but like... I don't think he is. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I mean... I need to head, hike a mountain with him. Maybe, or like a big hill, steep driveway. All I'm saying, dude, if I'm him, I'm not doing, I'm not doing any of this. You know what I'm doing? If I'm a billionaire... <laughs> You know, you want to take a wild guess? Does it involve hoes? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what type of non ho activity is this? Get a yacht. <laughs> Fuck some hoes. You're a billionaire and you're shoving Flintstones vitamins in your fucking but ass. Maybe every day? he's doing this so he can live longer, thus fuck more hoes. Yeah, but dude, I, there's burst psychology. Er, no, I don't know. God damn. <sighs> oh, dude. What's that? I don't know. My penis is soft. <laughs> This is a stick up. It's time to get bricked up, baby. It's Blue Chew. Y'all know what it is. Dude, y'all know what I'm talking about. Dude, Blue Chew is a unique chewable tablet with the same active ingredients as Cialis and Viagra, dude. It gets delivered to your door in a discreet packaging. You gotta go to freaking Rite Aid or CVS. None like, of that. hey, guess what? You ever seen a pool noodle? That's me on Wednesdays. Glocked up, baby. Glocked up. Yeah, you don't have to go to CVS. You don't have to talk to it. You know, you do it all online. It's super easy. The best part about it is. It's not just if you have trouble getting glocked right. up. Right. It's for that round two. Two. Endurance, you know? You want to put in that work. First every, the worst, second the best. Dude, every single time I have the friggin' uh the second round, not great. Not hundred percent. He's not. not. He's yeah. looking at eighty percent max. He's tired. He's smoking cigarettes. Marlboros. So we've got a special deal for our listeners, dude. Try Blue Chew for how much? Free, dude. When you use our promo code SOCKS at checkout, just pay $5 for shipping. That is BlueChew.com, promo code SOCKS, to receive your first month F-E- Whoa. F-R-E- <laughs> visit, visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. We thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. Get your penis hard. Yeah. Boop, boop. God damn. Dude, I'm sure he's like sleeps in a coffin. And <laughs> he shit. sleeps upside down. A hundred percent. But I'm just wondering, is all of this worth it? Hold up. Do vampires sleep upside down? Yeah. All right. All the blood Let me find some. Head. Get some head. Walk into a vampire's den. Guess where the heads are? No. Right by your cock. You would like it because if you're oh. upside down, you're foot level. Oh, shit. Yeah. You're right. Bird's eye view? No. Comes eye view. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I don't know. Is all that worth it, I guess? No. I no, it's not. It's not worth it. I mean, I don't understand why you don't buy a yacht. A yacht is just bird feed for hoes. <laughs> <laughs> Funny.
But like you read those articles about like Chris Pratt will do an interview, right? Where he had to get in crazy shape for like a Marvel movie or something. And he's like, yeah, but it sucks. It's not fun to, in order to look like Brian Johnson does and like to do that. This is your whole life. You don't get to eat any good food. You have to go to sleep super early. Like it's no fun at all. So no, it's not worth it. Yeah, but here's where I'm at. You have to love that for yourself because a woman's going to see him and be like, if somebody's pitch is, hey, that's a guy over there, he's a billionaire, she, her mind's going to go, woo, and then a guy goes, yeah, but he also has his son's blood in him. <laughs> like, the blood part isn't going to be the part that's going to get women be like, oh, my God. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, would you date a billionaire that ingested his son's Dude, blood? I mean, what no, a like, weird he could look thing. Like, he could look like a kicked over sandcastle. It doesn't really matter because somebody who's going to be interested in you is, oh, he looks good. Oh, cool, cool, cool. But billionaire. Mm-hmm. You know, like if you're a, I don't fucking know. If you're, if you're you, you a woman that say? goes to the Ritz Carlton and you see and, him, and, well, and your your whole job, not job, your whole like sort of uh, premise to go to the to the nice hotel is to find a rich guy to date him, blah blah blah, like that whole fucking rigmarole of a human being. She's not gonna give a shit what he does if at the end of the day he's still a billionaire. He can be like, oh, you know, he eats alligator cocks on Tuesdays and. <laughs> <laughs> and she, and <laughs> I thought that was Wednesdays, but I, but I said, but you, you see what I'm saying? It's like, what's going to attract more? It's like, sure. He's going to, he looks great for his age and all that. But at the end of the day, like you said, still a billionaire. It doesn't matter. Right. So he's doing it for him. Exactly. You have to want, and maybe he does love that. I don't know. Dude, you gotta love it, man. But just imagine he's literally giving himself a hand job with his dad's blood. Dude, he's texting <laughs> his son at four in the morning. You up. It's and transfer time. It's so, it's so weird. <laughs> it's weird. It's so weird. Weird. Your son and your dad's blood. It, but that's just to get like an equilibrium, a balance? I, dude, I don't, I, is, I, I, don't I don't know. know. I don't know, but if I'm, dude, if I'm his son, dude, you know how hard it is to make your son be on time for dinner? You know how, and then you got to make your son be on time for blood transfusions? And if the son ever smokes weed, now he smokes weed? Yeah. I mean, that's it's crazy. just bizarre. Hey, are you meeting me for the reservation to dinner? No. Red Cross. <sighs> Fucking what? <laughs> that's insane. I, here's, here's the thing. It's just like, if do whatever the fuck you want to do. Obviously. Not do whatever the fuck you do. But, but, no. but, but don't, don't take a photo shoot with the family. Yeah. You guys look like boys to men. No, you guys are boys to men. That's a family photo. Just holding each other like this. I mean, dude, the dad's hands are so, so, so very close to his cock. They've kissed before, intimately. <laughs> like, in a weird, like, it got dark, and it started raining a bit, and they were drinking Coors Light, and they started making out. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I they just, convinced themselves that it was just love. I just saw that, and I go, you know, that's life. Yeah, well, you know what's really funny? He's going to do all this, and in three years, he's going to get hit by a FedEx truck. That's hilarious. <laughs> His protocol for sleeping is sleep alone. Is what? Sleep alone. I'm going to implement that. I already do it. <laughs> Somebody hug me. But it's not, it's not funny. But like, how do you, but there's a lot of husbands and wives that don't sleep together. Yeah. What do you mean? You look shocked. Really? They I sleep guess. in like different rooms because one either snores or they're like, yeah. yeah, we're in love, but like, I just, I can't sleep. That's sad. It's not. Dude, it happens. It's more sad because they're like, I fucking hate Rupert's goddamn snoring all night. Uh, my old lady, you know, fucking sneaks farts under the cup. Like, <laughs> It's honestly a very adult and, I mean, progressive thing to do, maybe, to be like, we sleep better in separate beds. If that is, if that's the reason, then sure. Because I can get behind that. I can get behind sleeping in another, I, I sleep so much better without someone in the bed. Like, of so much better. Of course. Even if I can't even feel them, I feel them. They, like, shift. They, those things at yeah, night. I would, I would, the fuck are you doing? I would always get really bad sleeps with the. Yeah. But. And then I go on the road, and I thought it was me. And then I go on the road and sleep like a fucking rock. And I'm like, oh, it's not me. Yeah. It's the fucking this goddamn meat sack next to me, <laughs> breathing. <sighs> what are you doing? Are you wearing a 4K in your sleep, bitch? What's <laughs> happening? Every 14 a minutes, meat sack. Just this. What's happening? Really? What are you doing? Are you splunking? What's happening? Go to sleep. No. Yep. <laughs> and then fucking Gigi, every eight seconds moving around her fucking hotness. Yeah, you Gigi's get, the hottest dog in the world. Not like that, but I like mean, temperature Gigi, you had a whole carpool laying in your goddamn bed. It was everything going on. It's too much. And then Gigi, we put her in a cage and made it so much better. 
cage, great. Or bigger bed, because then they don't have problems. I have the biggest bed you can get. I'm sure there's bigger beds, but like it's a king. Oh, really? And you still felt the... I, it's not, I don't feel anybody, but I feel them. Mm -hmm. I don't like, they're not touching me. Don't touch me. Do you like cuddling? For about 10 minutes. You can do That's 10 minutes. minutes? Really? Yeah. Well, you kind of just fall asleep and then you just... Oh, how do you fall skirt? asleep? Yeah, but the... the Get but no, no, no. off me. <laughs> don't you like this? No, I don't. Do you want love and affection? <laughs> I do, I do, but I don't. <laughs> no, I think it is. I'd say the most of the time that we would have cuddled was like... Oh, no, I hate. Get off me. <laughs> post N-U-T. Right. That's when I don't want you to touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> no? A little bit of that, like your body's kind of... Nope, nope, but, but, but nope. Your, your body's it. just recharging and reloading. You're just like buffering. It's like the apple just turned back on. Yeah, you but know, I want to gong by myself. I get that. Don't touch me. I don't like... <laughs> I don't... I do... And I've had many a conversations, and it's not like some fuckboy thing. I'm like, hey, no cuddle. It's like, I don't... I don't like touch... <laughs> I like like standing clothed hugs. I'm into. Standing, I like that. Standing That's clothed fun. hugged. Yeah, fully clothed, standing like in the kitchen, whatever. If you if I'm like making and she comes behind me, a hug. That's really nice. I like that a lot. <laughs> but like after I nut, I'm all sweating. Shit, there's blood everywhere. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess you. F well, hold on. <laughs> what are you, the fucking blood brothers? I mean, I, I, I you're right. I mean, what, you and I actually fuck differently. You like? Do I, we? I think so. Yes, we do. I'll Yours after is like a CSI Miami fucking. It's it's insane. There's sweat. There's you know, there's shits everywhere. Yeah, there's there's plastic wrap on the ground. <laughs> random monkey heads. <laughs> <laughs> so I I don't know. I don't know. I don't I, like. It. I don't like cuddling a stranger. What, like in Walmart? What do you mean? <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, like a transactional on the F train. Thing. Oh no, I'm saying if you get if it's like a new hookup and you're kind of yeah. you know, you're like because then you have weird thoughts. You're like I don't even know this lady. Why yeah. she got my Wi-Fi code? You ever like you ever hold hands with a woman that you barely know? You go, how did we get here? Mm, no. Yeah, I it happened. <laughs> it happened like a couple. I don't know what. I think when I first got it out just of my feels girlfriendy. What? Yeah, of, of course. But when I first got out of the relationship, I was so still in like. Girlfriendy, boyfriendy, like mode. Uh huh. So I would like end up doing, like it didn't happen all the time, but I would end up in like, I'm like walking on the street and I'm like holding oh, her. I'm dude, like, that transitional period. I don't period. even know her middle name. <laughs> a transitional period is hard. I remember I was looking up with a girl right after the breakup. Sex? Yeah. Sex. Did it. Good. Came <laughs> out of my own penis. Um, no, but like this was maybe like the third time maybe this girl had slept over. Like we were just starting to see each other. Okay. But I was so used to the relationship, and it was in the same bed. Oh, I know. That I kissed her goodnight, and I almost said, I love you, instinctually. Yeah. It just almost came out. I was yeah. almost like, all right, love you. And I was like, imagine. I know. Imagine I being know. that girl, being like, huh? What did you say? We met in an Orco 42 hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pay for your gas. <laughs> but instinctual. And then I rolled up, and I was like, all right. <clears throat> and then I just rolled over, and I was like, What's happening in my life? I know it's so weird. It's so weird, dude. I used to call. I used to call my ex, uh, my love, all the time. Just like as like instead of like baby, like oh my love, can you get like just whatever? Just like that's how I you said it. You thespian bitch. That's true. <laughs> my love. I know but, that's very cute and wholesome. Thank you, but I, I wish I had that. <laughs> but I almost fucked up like so many times. Say my love. Like I'm like looking at a girl. I barely known her. I, I met her in a line at a club. She threw up on my shoes. And I'm like, hey, my love. Huh? Yeah, but that's also one of those you could like dismiss. Like, my love. She's like, what? You're like, my love. Oh, oh to yeah. Be tomorrow love, to and be. tomorrow. Yeah, 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 the yeah. Postmates. Ba -da -ba -ba postmates. But that is one where you catch yourself slipping and you're like, uh, oh, fuck. Yeah, it's an odd. The transition period. I'm still fairly into the. I'm still like in the transitional period. Like, where I like, if a girl sub over, I like wake up and be like, oh, this is like a little. It's fine. It's fine, but it's still like a like if we're like drinking coffee together the next morning. I'm like, this feels intimate. Why mm. are you wearing my shirt? Also, yeah, but that's how all the, a lot of stuff starts. Because then I know, you, you I know. kick it off with a nice cappuccino conversation. How is that not a podcast? <laughs> um, and then you go, oh, there's a lot going on here. This is nice banter. Oh, well, you look kind of good in the goddamn it happens all the time. shirt. Oh. Dude, the post coffee nut fuck. <laughs> what the fuck is that to me? <laughs> yeah, you, you post coffee and nut fuck is crazy to me. Oh, really? I can't drink coffee and then Im immediately think about cooter. I'm like, give so me a bathroom <laughs> and isolation. <laughs>
Damn. Dude, I'm so glad we have this as a sponsor. I literally use them every day. I have one of these meals before coming here. It is Factor. Look, what is Factor? It's summer. You might be looking for wholesome, convenient meals for sunny, active days. Factor is America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. Uh -huh. It can help you feel up with flavor, nutritious, ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time. You'll eat well. You'll stay on track of your dietary goals. But I dude, use it. I'm too busy. I'm too busy. It's a literally, no, that's not an okay. excuse. It's, dude, it's microwavable. You un, it's ready to go. It's yep. cooked. It's not frozen. So you just poke a couple holes in it. You throw it in the microwave two minutes. I mean, I actually eat now. Like beforehand, I would just eat like Chex Mix and like a Bang Energy and be like, I'm sure my body's okay with this. Do you know what I had before I came here? A peanut butter and jelly sandwich and pretzels. I need fact they're so bad in my life. It's crazy. I have meals. Got meals on me. I'm I'm Dude, they do juices, they do like smoothies, they do breakfast bundles, they have everything on breakfast there. bundles? Breakfast bundles. I need it. It's I, phenomenal. I need it because I hate cooking and it sounds like these meals are actually good. No, it, it, they're phenomenal. And you get to pick each week what you want. So you can do like eight of these or one of those. Really? Or like, yeah, you can pick like they, they have set ones like do you want four a week, six a week, eight a week, twelve, da da da. But then you pick which ones you want. So like, I've been doing it for a couple weeks now. Now I know my favorites. I'm like, boom. Yeah. That, and it's like gluten-free shit. I'm like, give me the pasta with a little bit of bolognese. Let me hey. get a little chicken with the goddamn potato leeks. It's phenomenal. So head to factormeals.com slash socks50 and use code socks50 to get 50% off your first box. I'm going to use it. So head to factormeals.com slash socks50 and use code socks50 to get 50% off your first box. Once again, that is code SOX50. God damn. The fact that you chug coffee and then be like, dick time? Well, I crazy. chug coffee and I go, I got to take a shit goodbye. And then I take a poop and then get to it. You better have to shit. I'm not thinking about fucking. I be in an, I announce poop early. I don't want to go through the ring and roll of fucking flush in the toilet and be like, oh, man, whoa. No. I'm an adult. I'm taking a shit right now. I just, yeah. had, I just had five espresso shots. <laughs> And then you segue right into fucking? Yeah. Then I wow. come out, start talking about, you know, her favorite color or whatever. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> isn't, isn't conversation so weird? You just like, we, you sit down and you're like, hey, so how was your day? And then they talk and you, then you talk back. What are we doing here? <laughs> talking so weird. I know that's what we do for a living, but it's so weird. Uh, I have a cool question. Are you um, from this planet? <laughs> Are you one of those AI robots? Yeah, conversation is crazy. You respond, I respond. Yeah. But it's weird. We're not, this whole thing we're doing. It's even weird if you just stare at each other. Yeah. Hey, how do you feel about a first kiss? Do you have like any moves or you just feel it out? Somebody is blowing up your phone. Gives a shit. <laughs> uh, feel it out. Feel it out. Feel it out, you know? Do you ever have that moment like you're like, in your head you're like, oh, we about to. <laughs> Fuck! The AI robot is back in middle school. He's no, learning emotions. Wait, oh, you know what I mean? No. Like, you haven't kissed a girl yet, and you're like in the car, or whatever you're talking, and then uh, you know what I've been doing recently. <laughs> I already know it's gonna be some dumb shit. It is. I've been it kissing is. girls. <laughs> <laughs> no, yo, I'll be, I'll be kissing girls. <laughs> yeah, no, no. you write on a piece of paper, you're my crush, yes or no. Oh, what that's do you actually fire. But sometimes I'll be doing recently where like we'll be talking and we'll have that like intimate moment for like that split second. You know when you're about to kiss, you have that like kind of intimate moment where that, that you take a pause in the conversation and then you go in. Yeah. I'll take a pause and be like, and I'll be like, I'm going to kiss you now. And I'll just say it. It's kind of hot. I go, I'm like. Very progressive. I'm like, I'm going to kiss you now. And then go in there, and you get the fucking, mm -hmm. and then, you know the best part of the first kiss? You ever had a kiss a girl, and in like kind of like a moment of like, take a breath, and she goes, uh, the fucking <laughs> moan <laughs> during fuck? a kiss? Where are you kissing her? <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> Does that, where do you kiss a girl? <laughs> On her door, because she didn't let me inside. <laughs> what do you mean? Dude, people would just she be moaned? in bushes waiting for she me. How do you feel when you're fingering a girl, and she goes, you feel so good? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Never had that happen. What? You're talking yeah, about? Yeah. Thank God we had a jack to this podcast. <laughs> you know, I've been fingering you. And she goes, oh, I feel so good. Oh, you feel not so good. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what did you think I was talking about? Sex? Yeah. Obviously, that's happened. <laughs> no, but that's to my point. 
Penis makes sense. Clip that. <laughs> Penis makes sense, but like finger goes, she goes, oh, you feel so good. I'm like, it's a finger. Don't don't fucking hype him up. It's a finger. He doesn't grow. Oh, oh yeah. You. F- it's you just f- funny. I'm like, oh, you know what feels even better? My cock. Yeah, you know. Here's see, a pe- here's a finger. You ding, feel ding, ding, so ding. good with it's, fingers. In I you. wanted to laugh. I was like, what? <laughs> You're so big. What? <laughs> yeah, harder. What? <laughs> Deeper forearms for what? I'm like, you have finger it in there. I don't know how to do it. She's like, I feel so good. What? Yeah, you feel you, it just doesn't feel use like use the problem. It feels so good. This feels so it good. It just feels like you're, it doesn't oh, feel maybe re- do it harder. It doesn't feel like the real, it's like you're like in the car, but you're not test driving it. You're just sitting in it in the dealership. You know, the showroom cars. It feels I've like you're always, sitting. One. I've always wanted to start that shit up in the show with like fucking Ram cars. I've, <laughs> it's been one of my fantasies. That's how every movie should start. Yeah, I just want to drive it through the glass. You know those movies that people drive the the, the fucking show cars through the glass? I want to do this so bad. How you much, can. How much does that cost to fix? Because I'll do it. One hundred fifty k. Yeah, pro- that's probably about right to fix well, also, the front. It depends on the car too. And also, you're going to jail. Yeah, I think you can be like, oh man, what? I messed up. I hit the gas. I want to hit the brake. But like you started the car. I don't know how cars work. <laughs> it's a new car. This is weird. I'm an but, AI robot. Yeah, that's a, that's gonna be an excuse. I'm You're a robot. arrested. I'm a robot. Fuck you. Honestly. It's gonna be crazy. I've talked about it before, but it's gonna be crazy when robots get rights. That's gonna be so weird. You oh, can't wow. kick a robot. Can you kick one of those things that deliver things? The food. Yeah. Can you no. kick one of those? Yeah. What happened? Names. They added a. Uh, the reason that those have faces on them. Some you know how some. Have you seen the ones that have yeah, the little cute face? shit? Yeah, they that do that so because sad. people so vandalize long. them so much that they want to make you connect more with them. That's they want to make it look cute really? so you don't hurt it. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that's weird as shit. Dude. They do. I look. I feel so bad for them. They look so sad traveling all alone. Yeah. Uh, you know, waiting across f- the street makes me sad when they're just at the light and they're just. I want to help them, dude. Yeah. What are they called? Any friends? You know what they should have? You know those motorcycles that have the little the little side carts? Oh, they should yeah. have a little side cart and put a little Gigi in it. So at least you have a friend, a little chihuahua with the, with the glasses. Yeah, well, there should be a herd of them. It looks like I it like should that, have a yeah. backpack on it. Like, it looks so, like, <laughs> tiny. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, what are they called? But they, they do have, like, the two little eyes on yeah, it. Yeah, they're like shit R2-D2s. Also, I, how do you get those? I've never had one of those delivered. I haven't either. I would love to get one delivered. Ding dong. Your food is here. Is Does it talk? controlling it? Those are so cute. Is that a 7 Eleven one? That's a 7 Eleven one, yeah. Uh, I think this is the one I've seen, right? They I've seen that name. a bunch. Kiwi? They, look, they do Kiwi look really bot? cute. No. What's in there? Food. And you get there and it then opens. I want to use one of those for a plan B. <laughs> <laughs> so. Why? But why do companies? Is it cheaper? Because I feel like it would be so much expensive and less efficient to deliver. Oh, cocoa! Like that's that. what they're called. The little cocos. It's gonna be a weird time, <laughs> dog. In five years, when there's like a horde of them everywhere. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, there he is. He's got a cowboy hat on it. That's nice. That's God ah, damn. That's gotta be in Austin. What yeah. are the? So they deliver anything? Mm-hmm. Is it? It's got to be an app, or Coco works with restaurants. I think the restaurants partner with Dude, this company. To, I wonder yeah. how many of the things have got fucking beamed by a drunk driver. <laughs> <laughs> Coco, no, that's fucked. The Coco ones are controlled by people. Really? Yeah, they use like Xbox controllers. Oh, what that's bullshit. Fuck? Really? Yeah, that I thought seems, they did it by themselves. That seems kind of hard. It seems like a waste of money because you have to hire that person to, to move do cocoa. It, yeah. So, bitch, like, you drive me the food. It seems stupid. I thought Coco was independent. I thought it was like AI moved. I thought it was too. That's so nope. dumb. Websites Hold up. have more ads than porn now. It's so annoying. Who is that? So this is the lady that. driving Coco. Hold up. Go get. I know she looks hot. <laughs> Go get a job. <laughs> that is her job. But She's, like, I don't. I don't video want, games is Coco. But what's the advantage of this versus her just no getting a toy at your cell and door dashing me the food? Less I, fumes, toxic waste, mm. toxic masculinity. <laughs> what? You can p- get paid twenty dollars to be a Coco driver right now on LinkedIn. Twenty bucks an hour to do can, this. That's pretty fun. That is pretty fun to like, carpal tunnel when you're thirty-one. <laughs> It, yeah, it doesn't really strike me as that, like, this is what the future needs. 
This it seems. Does this not strike you as like like a middleman that doesn't need to exist? If it's autonomous, I totally get it. But yeah, having someone drive it is weird. If she can drive like six at once, maybe. Yeah. But the efficiency of one person driving it yeah. doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Although she never has to drive back, she probably just control. Oh no, yeah. Because if if it's not self driving, she. But this is. I mean, this is the same thing that Uber's doing, just with real people. Like Uber drivers are only going to exist for like five more years, and then it's all going to be autonomous. So this company's probably trying Thank to like God. get the market. No guy telling me about its cryptocurrency <laughs> fucking pyramids. Yeah, but here's the problem. <laughs> you're gonna have an autonomous vehicle, they're gonna turn around like, I think a vape shop's a good you're like, oh god damn. <laughs> no, there's not gonna be anybody in it. Oh, they're gonna do ads, yeah. They're gonna do ads, dude. You know what's ads? It's fucking airlines. I re- didn't realize that until I was flying recently. At the uh-huh. very end, they're like, if you want to sign up for a uh, Southwest credit card, mm-hmm. they're doing ad reads. Yeah, they're doing ad reads. You know what? Skip. <laughs> fast forward. <laughs> Nobody wants your credit card. Zero people. You know what's crazy is when people grab, they're like, oh, thank you. For what? You're, ma'am, you're signing up for this? For what? Uh, did you guys see this? Ow, ow, ow. This uh, news article says, man rescued from woods after sex game goes awry. This was me. 51 year old found bound with rope pantyhose over his head (laughs) Um, honestly I'm hard what do you think the game was uh peekaboo you're tied up come on I think it's called like timber you see how hard you can get in the wood see if you ever fall down I like that but no uh police German police say a 51 year old man who was left tied up in the woods when a sex game went awry had a lucky escape after a cyclist and a hunter heard his cries for help oh yeah what did they do before they rescued him (laughs) (laughs) Imagine me on a bike ride, trying to better your own life, and you yeah. see that. You just shove a schwin as an ass. <laughs> uh, the man was discovered fully dressed, but firmly Was bound. it the weather guy? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> just plugging the weather in the middle of this. Who gives a fuck about the weather when we're learning about a hard man in the woods? Uh, so he says that police said the man appeared to have been tied up by a woman he met online. After she had done so, the woman received a phone call and fled the woods suddenly, leaving the man behind in a helpless state. He said he had a box cutter on him for such situation, but seemed to have underestimated for, the woman's bondage skills. Hold on. For such situation. So this is not his first time. No. He just brings a box cutter to him on dates. What you know f- your life's in shambles when you have to bring a box cutter to a date because you hope there's pantyhose and you're tied up. Yeah, I think there's a lot of red flags that are popping up in this one. But uh, I just wonder, who called? What phone call was so important? She's like, oh, my postmates is here. And just ran away. <laughs> It's a good question. She literally abandoned him there. And like it, it seems like it was like her like Batman calling. Like, oh, I gotta go. Then ran. It's probably her husband. Also, if we're hooking up and you answer the phone, I'm pissed. This is not what? hooking up. This is borderline Mortal Kombat. <laughs> it's something. This is not. I mean, well, they're in the woods. You yeah, can but like, love but this. like they're doing it as like a sex game. Like, oh, what if I fucking tied you up, fucking daddy? Let me see that sycamore tree. I don't know. It's so weird to get tied up on a fucking maple tree, get panties around your head, and then she leaves. What is the first six seconds? Margaret? <laughs> Margaret! Well, maybe he thinks it's a part of the game. Like, oh, uh, yeah, you are running away. <laughs> Awfully far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and how is... long do you stay hard for? I don't think it's hard the whole time. I think that's the problem. So this hmm. is the kind of thing he was tied to. It's a what? deer hunting platform. Hold on, hold on. Like, up <laughs> in the air he was tied up? Yeah. Dude, can you imagine finding that? I mean, that's crazy. It was in Germany. So they've done much worse things, obviously. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he's a real one because he said the man was unharmed and refused to provide information about the woman's identity. Um, that's um, how horny men are. He's like, yeah. I'm trying to beat still. <laughs> nope. I'm, I'm immediately telling her. Her name's Asmrel. She was on 1414 Two Farm Drive. Find her. She <laughs> fucking left me. Can you imagine if she got a... I think her... I think the call was her husband. And he was like, oh, where are oh, you? Oh, yeah, that would be And good. she was like, oh, I'm, I'm just, on a run. I'm just going for a walk. <laughs> What's that noise in the background? <laughs> it's a pine cone. It's a deer. <laughs> it's a deer. I still want to know what the game was. Do you have any Make me calm. This... My life sucks. <laughs> That's what the name Hiding of the game is. Hiding goes calm. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, rope and a pantyhose. I'm going to be honest with you. Pantyhose on the head, that actually sounds hot to me. No, Did it he... sounds dumb. Have you seen pantyhose on the head? It just makes your face look like flat. Yeah, that, then you go rob a fucking Chase Bank. But it doesn't hide your face details at all. You can oh, still it does tell. a lot. No, you can't. If you put on pantyhose, yeah. If you put on pantyhose, like if you like Google pantyhose rob bank, whatever, you really can't see the person's face. Yeah, because it like squishes all your facial yeah. features. It, you look like a blob. Yeah. See. Yeah, but like, I think if we put on pantyhose, we'd know who that. Who look would. at that. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? My I'm brother. Getting robbed by My somebody dad? with pantyhose on their head. I would laugh. Excuse me. If with pantyhose on your head, somebody just trying to rob you. I just sniff them and hopefully they're going, oh shit, daddy. <laughs> it, 
Does a crotch? All right, that's actually hot as fuck to me. Anything non-human, I'm in. We know you're not one. <laughs> <laughs> I am human. God damn. Bum, 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 ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. This ad is brought to you by Prize Picks. It is a daily fantasy app where you what? I will tell you. Pick two to six players, and if they go score more or less than the Prize Picks projections, you can win up to twenty five x your money on any entry. That is a lot of freaking cashola. Twenty five x times that's a lot. And they okay? got it for all sports. Dude, we're talking men's, college basketball, MLB, NFL. Dude, they even got cricket in there. They got your Euro basketball. Disc golf. That's not even a real sport, and they have it in there. <laughs> I actually used it. I was on the road. I used it in Omaha during the NBA playoffs a couple of weeks ago. It's so fun. Yeah. It's so fun. Me and my buddies did it. We went, uh, I think we went above the 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 points and uh and below an assist. It was so fun, so easy, and it makes the game just more exciting. So highly, highly recommend. And since it's the NBA playoffs, okay, they have a million dollar daily super flex. Holy shit, what is it? Every day of the NBA Finals, one prospect user will win a chance at becoming a millionaire. Do you want to huh? become a millionaire, dude? Yeah. Me too. Uh so how does this work? Whoever places the entry will be given a six pick flex with the following payouts. Six correct picks, one million. Five correct, 80K. Four correct, 16K, okay? Full details can be found on prizepicks.com slash million. You must opt in at this link to be eligible for the million dollar entry. Once you opt in, all you have to do is play the game like normal, and you could be the lucky winner. One million, bro. That is incredible. All right. So we'll explain to you how to do this. So download the Prospects app or go to prospect.com to sign up and play daily fantasy sports today. First time users can today. receive 100% instant deposit match up to $100 with the promo code SOCKS. It's deposited $100. Prospects will give you $100. Super easy math. I'm not good at math, and I even understand that. Don't forget to enter a code SOCKS and sign up for the instant deposit match up to $100. Go have fun. Do it. God damn. Oh, oh, my friend showed me this thing called Ru Rule Thirty Four. Have you heard of this? Yeah. No, nope. I you know have? exactly what it is. Yeah. No, no, I have no Rule idea. Rule Thirty Four. It's like you. So it's a website, and it shows anything that can be porn. Like you could say anything, it'll show you if there's porn of that online. So what? If you, so if you typed in any cartoon, any like anything, and, and oh, it'll bring up. Well, I, uh, I just have real quick. Yeah. Bring it up. Yeah, dude. Anything. All right. But but it's like it's like it's already here. Horny. Mm -hmm. Like like you could type okay. it like Dude, you type green it like, green M and M but there's gonna be thousands. Home Depot. <laughs> I don't know if it's like an AI thing like oh. you are, but well I thought this was fun. <laughs> Alright, do green M and M. <gasps> the green M and M has a peanut in her. She's got nut in her. <laughs> she she <laughs> I don't think she's a peanut M and M. She should be. <laughs> she could be. After a night with me, she might. All right, so it doesn't exist. You That's chose the so one dumb. thing. Well, type, 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 uh, type in type Sandy in Hondo Cheeks. Accord. <laughs> <laughs> but it shows what is happening. <laughs> this shit sucks. Oh wait, maybe the Wi-Fi. No, no, like there's no. It does everything. <laughs> <laughs> Don't doubt you know, her like this. This is this is you being Rule Thirty Four CEO doing a presentation for everyone. <laughs> and you're like, no, no, it works. There's Sandy Cheeks. <laughs> this shit sucks, dude. Do a uh, Trix yogurt. Oh, I don't like that one. <laughs> I mean, I, I, what Trix is it? yogurt. <laughs> Dude, these are weird. What's the What's the lady from Space Jam? Okay, name? never mind. I don't like this part. Just, can you type in Space Jam? Lola Bunny. Yeah, it's oh, underscore. Okay, it's underscored. Spaces don't work. What a stupid thing. Yo, Lola Bunny got an ass. <laughs> Dude. Holy fuck! She can Holy start an Only Farms. Holy God damn. <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy. Look at bro, here's Dude, the thing. my Here. carrot is so hard. <laughs> <laughs> scroll up to the top. Like scroll up a little bit. Scro more? No, no, no. Let's go to that down. photo. Yeah, 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 okay. Now now cover her head. If you cover her head, like I, scroll. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that. <laughs> bro, if I you mean. showed that to anybody on a bus, <laughs> they would the, they would, I mean dude, dude, fuck, you don't have to cover her head. I'm you saying. show anyone that on Bro, the goddamn that's a Biza in a fucking nutshell right there. That's crazy, dude. I'm, I'm into the tail. So now that you can type the underscore, try green underscore M and M underscore. Yeah, I mean, there's no I'm way. I'm hard underscore. Yeah, but dude, it's they do they do for anything. Oh, we're getting there. 
What is that? Oh, uh, uh, no, I I'm in, like dude. That. I didn't know I'm like in. That. No, I'm actually, no. dude. Look at those green panties. No. Dude, That's those hot. aren't panties. Yeah, they are. That's Vijay. That's chocolate Vijay. Here we go. Here's more. She's bad. Uh, <laughs> this is getting worse. Look at the those tits are horrible. Tit nah. Yeah, this is awful. She looks like a smoker. All right. <laughs> all right. Type in. Um, we can't show any of this on YouTube, but <laughs> what did you, what did Jack type in? It can't be good. No, there's no way. This is twin towers. Oh my god! You're fucking lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely not. Abs I will never forget for the wrong reasons. Absolutely not. Who's that bird? <laughs> <laughs> you know who that is? That's Bush. Dude, bird is the is... fucking but what the hell's that? <laughs> Alright, what else we got? Yeah, this is terrible. Oh my god. Type in um I regret just this. type in juice. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh who what's who's hot? <laughs> That's the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, somebody's on an iPad somewhere in Vermont just drawing this. Do you think people are actually jerking off to these? No. I think it's just funny. They People leave comments. This is seriously disturbing and wrong. Well, yeah, you're on this website to begin with. All of this is wrong. Hold on. They're commenting on this? Look at yeah. that. I mean, dude, it's the fucking Titanic. It didn't even happen. <laughs> <laughs> type, in, uh, type in Bald Eagle. Oh, that's America right there. Yeah. All right, last one we got. Last one. Bald eagle. Yeah, there we go. Like what you see, nerd. This is bizarre. This is bizarre. Um, really fun though. I like this one. Look at that feet. How are the feet? Oh, oh, get it out! <laughs> Fucking awful. Change it. Um, all right, guys, it's time. It's, it's time. time. Let's get into some sock talk. Let's do it. Um, I'm ready. This one is actually this sock talk is kind of from the whole community. We did a. a we had put up a video with uh, Giggly Squad, and the question that we asked the audience was, what's your odd turn on? Yeah. So we got some good sub uh, submissions. Cool. Uh, so Kelsey says, I have a sneeze fetish. I love it when men sneeze. I know it's odd and very niche. I can that get into bizarre. it. But have you ever, you ever seen like a really, really old guy sneeze? There's no way they find that attractive. Like no. the World War II sneeze? Slash fire! That shit? <laughs> There's no way a woman's like, oh my god, yeah. There's no way. What oh, kind of yeah. sneezes do you think is a hot sneeze versus a not hot like, sneeze? <laughs> yeah. The, tss, is, they're, if the people hot. who hold their sneezes, that's just blue balling yourself. Don't do that. Yeah. So what does she just take her days like a pollen field and be like, <laughs> have at it? <laughs> yeah. Every time she's in a Lego commercial, she gets fucking upset. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. That's my fetish. Burping. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, we got a lot of people <sighs> said hands. Yup. Hands do it for Women a lot be of loving hands. Dude, women sometimes take my hands on dates. Just Oh my Jesus Christ. During a date, you'll take my hands and just like look at them. I think it's pretty common. Do you ever compare the hand size? That always makes me yep, feel I hate like it. demasculated. It always does because our hands are always bigger than mine. I date WNBA players. <laughs> uh, Barba says, my Ooh. weird turn on is when a girl eats fast because what that mouth do. That's odd. That's terrible. <laughs> it's funny. It's very, very funny. What if you take it to an all you can eat buffet? Just put a plate of wings down. You know what to do. <laughs> this one's weird. This is uh, says, my weird turn on is when he trips or runs into something because it humbles him. No, that you uh, gotta go to therapy. Yeah, it's not like a turn on. That's like a, I secretly hate my boyfriend and he's too cocky. Yeah. This should help him. I love when he hits his head on bookshelves. It's hilarious. Yeah, that's also like what a dad does to like make his son laugh to try and connect with him. <laughs> No, like, you know, that's so sad. You no, know, but like you know, parents is like, oh, the ba the baby loves the mom more. But every time dad dad hits his head on the door, the baby's like, ha ha ha. And he's like, well, this is how I win him back. You know what's crazy is you know how they always say that it was oh the, the mom uh, the baby likes the mom more. Yeah, the well, mom's yeah. got tits. Well, with also fucking with with literally their dinner in it. <laughs> Who do you think they're like more? You know what? How about you give me that milk? You're I'll inside. put it in my tits. I just think I, I understand. You were inside the mom for nine months. Of course, you're gonna yeah. resonate more with that. He likes the apartment. You, you're literally an apartment for him and a vending machine. Who do you think? And but I, I give nothing. Yeah, you're a stepdad, even though you're the real dad. Yeah, but you did start it. You did nut nut up the club. You did nut up the club. You went right through the VIP rope, and you shot a rope right up there. You know what my weird turn on is? 
when a woman is educated and has values and really just understands her emotionality on a day to day basis, that's what really turns me on. Now take your glasses off and give us a real answer. Okay, tits. <laughs> Uh, we had a surprising amount of people, men and women, say that their odd turn on are knives. Uh, people what? being able to use knives, having a knife, <laughs> owning a knife. Do they know what a fetish is? <laughs> uh, dude, there's a lot of knives. People love that shit. Where? How? It's like a danger fetish. Like, oh, like, you're about wait, to cut wait. me. Whoa. What do you fucking do this while getting a hand job? What do you? That's hot. That if, is? A girl, if a girl could do that, I'd be all in. I mean, that's hot, God, but like, I'm also, out. like, I'm not getting hard. I'm, I'm nervous out. for my life. I don't want to fucking date Rambo. What, <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm, not, I'm out. It, here's what would be hot. If you okay. throw an axe, like, like you're about to fuck, and you throw an axe, and you hit the bullseye, then you're like, whoa, this guy can probably fuck good. Yeah. You can throw an axe. Actually, you know what I'm walking myself through, like, knife play? I think I might be in. Where? How? Like, if you're, like, taking, like, a really sharp knife, and you're just, like, you're, like, kind of, like... Uh, like lacing someone's like body with it, like up and down. That's kind of fucking hot. I guess, but what if you sneeze? <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> oh no, Marguerite! <laughs> Marguerite! I don't know. I'm fucking in old time Spain. <laughs> then she gets stabbed. She goes, Ah, Marguerite! Oh, okay. <laughs> We're doing this podcast too long. Um. All right. Yeah. So that's it for that. Let's. I got, I got one. Sorry. I, I like. Uh, I like when a girl curses at me. That's Jesus. everybody in Philly. Yeah. Yeah. Show me that fucking flaccid cock, you fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah. Shove a Philly cheesesteak in my ass and call me on Tuesday, you goddamn bitch. <laughs> what, what, like, what, like, just, like, slutty but with cussing? No, just anything. Like, f even if she just goes, fuck, like, just mad <laughs> there at is, something. No, no, you know what? There is something hot. To, maybe it might yeah. be East Coast thing. There is something hot to that. Yeah. When a girl's, like, driving yeah. and someone cuts her off, she goes, yeah. fuck! I was like, dude, you pull over, I'll yeah. fuck you behind this goddamn Kia Soul right now. Maybe that's what she's looking for. She's not even mad at a driver. She's like, fuck! And like, right <laughs> oh, you're right. There is something hot about that. Yeah, road not rage. Too much. Road rage is hot, actually. No, no road rage is hot. No. Not rage. rage at me. No, no rage at Cause me. Because no. it's the same thing as the knife thing. I'm like, I'm fearing for my life. <laughs> She's like, oh fuck this guy. I swear. That's no. hot, dude. The, even no. you're doing it right now is kind of hot. Like the fucking yeah. to the teeth. Oh, you fucking little. Bit. No, <laughs> what? Yeah, not at hot. me though. No, because I'm in the passenger seat. Be like, it's okay, honey. Let's just get home. <laughs> oh, you're 90 <laughs> in a school zone. This is getting fun. Yeah, dude. The the the, the, the speeding the speeding with me in the car. Makes I'm like you. I I told multiple girlfriends, two girlfriends in a row had fucking road rage like that, and I'm like I'd have to tell them a couple times. I'm like you can do this, but let me out of the car because I don't. I'm not <laughs> dog. I don't. You're driving. That's you're driving. Like, you can kill yourself, but I'm not going to be. <laughs> of in this course, car and do that. you're driving 95 and a 45 because you're upset. Let me out. Or you say both lives. Make like, hey baby, you know. No, I don't want you in my life anymore. <laughs> yeah, because she's speeding. Yep. Yep. Find a train. <laughs> Why don't you just be like, hey, maybe we slow it down a little bit. But is yeah, there anything dude. you that's the last thing you want to hear if you're fucking speeding? Slow down. Oh you're fucking what are you the DMV? <laughs> what are you the DMV? <laughs> What's the next one, Gabriel? Yeah, we have a secret sock here today. Okay. Uh say their names. Anonymous submission says uh, have you ever had a boss you wanted to bang? Because mine is currently titted up. I had one. She was just really cool. Yeah. Something about that in the workspace is even hotter than being hot. Just really cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, you? Oh, I can take a ten minute break on a five minute break. <laughs> we getting married in that extra five minutes? <laughs> yeah, my Jamba Juice boss in college. What she, a funny sentence. <laughs> what the fuck were you doing in college? Not having a. Dude, I worked at Red Lobster. Even worse. I ate so many Cheddar Bay biscuits, it was crazy. Did any hot people? Did people work there? No, it was all pigs. <laughs> uh, did uh, no, there was no super hot people. I'm trying to think where else? Other than that, not really. I never, I every, I never had like no, I did. I had, Holy one, I had fuck. one boss who was you know, rack rack sit it up. I had one in college boss too. When I worked in New York, my first restaurant I worked in New York, she was. I might text her. She, I just, I, I, she was so hot to me, and we would always flirt. But she was like a, like a manager, like not even like a, not even like the restaurant manager. She like worked for like the corporation. Hold up. So corporation was, of Red Lobster? No. Oh, I'm sorry. In in New York, oh. it was a restaurant called Spice Market. But she didn't. She wasn't like a manager. Again, she was like a corporate manager. So she was in maybe like once a week, and she was like cool, and we like would talk, and she would giggle, and she had this like cute blonde hair. She would sluice back. 
And I'd be like working outside and she would come in and says, hey, Mike, are you okay? And the wind would hit and it would blow a little bit and her tip would come out and I would suck it and it'd be fucking Fanta coming out of there. It was very weird. I never asked you, when was the first tit you ever saw? My mom's. Besides? Eileen Cuffs. How old? Location? Humidity? <laughs> um, we were at her house in the basement. First, and I was like, first wild tit you ever saw? Yeah. I never saw a wild tit. And, and the only first wild tit I saw was in like a, a hookup situation. Whoa. I never saw like a wild tit like at a water park or anything or like at an aquarium. Yeah. Or like, you know, I'd never, it's, yeah. So what, you just hit the bra I, off and saw him? Yeah. Well, I didn't hit the bra off. I've, I've never been able, I've never been good at taking bras off. That's crazy. I know. Which is crazy because I put so many of my mom's bras on a pillow. You thought I'd be good at taking them off. I'm not. Mm. But you can put it on pretty good, yeah? Oh, I'm good at putting them on. After the hookup, I got you. You know what else I'm really good at? I went on a date with a girl last night. I, uh, I'm good at French braiding. <laughs> <laughs> I French braided her hair. Huh. She's like, you can't do it. I go, watch. And I did it really good. Isn't it just took a picture. What the fuck kind of dates are you going on? <laughs> Dude, I'm all over the place. All, like a, a day with me is like a podcast. <laughs> It's all over the fucking place. Look at this. Not bad. Yeah, I mean, you're just putting hair. Whoa. Like, Don't the, devalue this. This is good. No, it is. But okay. I, I'm not going to go on Shark Tank with this. <laughs> <laughs> do you think any part of her was like, damn, what those fingers do? She knows. <laughs> <laughs> but when you fingered it, did she say, God, you feel so good inside of me? Nope. <laughs> That's She's nice too level. busy semening. Do what girls semen? Semen in? <laughs> semen in? <laughs> semen in? <laughs> semen in. That sounds like a great spice. Spice mar Where'd market. You work? Spice market. Mm, semen in. What uh, what happened? Where are we? Are we done? That's a podcast. <laughs> that was a podcast? Yeah. <laughs> what was uh the secret talk tit it up boss? Tit it up boss, yeah. Dude, tit it up bosses are so great. Yeah. They're like, you need to do your side work. I'm like, I'm gonna fuck you. Did you ever bang anyone of like, um, what's the word? Like of, uh, oh God, like that's above you in terms of like power? Like like a teacher or a boss or like, how do you say that? That's a- Authority figure? Yeah, thank you. You have a fucking authority figure? Um, no, but I've slept with a woman who is taller than me. <laughs> 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 so mathematically then, yeah. Yeah. Because I would say she's holding it down. And by yeah. it, I mean me. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I actually went to the old frat house over the weekend. I visited my old frat house, and I saw the room where I did the sex with the larger lady. She was taller than me. It was on a bunk bed. What a doggy. I was lost back there. 100%. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. All the angles are off? Mm hmm That's crazy. She, but she had... A pussy? <laughs> good. A good one. Nice. Dude, for me to Picture fuck Picture that... Borat saying, nice vagine. Right. For me to have sex with that woman, I would have to I would have to get on like scaffolding. Yeah, stepsister? No, step ladder. Please. I need two of them. <laughs> it was good. good. And I saw the room that I did it in. That's it, was really, nice. it was really cool going back to the old frat. Just be like, oh man, I got is my it, penis touched. Does it all in. look different? They're pretty much the same. That's funny. Pretty much the same, yeah. It was funny because it was the most frat thing ever. There was like five holes that they were patching up in like one wall because some guys went on a rampage and just started blowing holes in the wall. And I was like, what, his cock or his fist? <laughs> fist, <laughs> because he didn't get his cock touch. That's, that's it's the just problem. It's so funny. You're like, oh, get laid? Nope. Time to swing on inanimate objects. You know what there should be in bars? There should be a room that you can go into to jerk off to not fight in my bar. That or those like break rooms where you just go break a bunch of shit. Yeah. Like but, if instead, somebody, but instead of a break room, it's just holes where you can just fuck. Get your semen out, come back out. Like, wow, hole? man, life is good. Um, no, like holes, but with like uh, flashlights in them. So you can just get it out. Oh! There's, there's a whole line of dudes. You line for the flashlight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, man, there's a line. You cutting me? Are you kidding me? I got a semen. But how many less fights would there be? Everyone be chill as shit. Yeah. But like, you well, know what? I did or order Shirley Temple. I did. I don't need alcohol. Life's good. I love my mom well, they and have my those dad. Bars that like mocktail bars where they only serve mocktails, and I'm like, that's gotta be the easiest. Like, there's no cleanup. There's no like crazy. Oh, somebody puked in the bathroom. It's like, oh yeah. It was a, when they go, hey, last call. Everyone's like, okay, and then they leave. Well, yeah, because there's three people in there. <laughs> <laughs> mocktail. What type of Mormon bar is this? I'm trying to get my fucking well, cock lick. <laughs> you, ever, you ever fuck after a code red? Get the hell out of here. <laughs>
<laughs> that is a funny place. There's a lot of funny in it because I do think those bars are getting more popular in Los they Angeles. They can't. No, there is. But like I'm mad. Like everything you say, you can't be like, oh, I was drunk. So if you're like, oh, you want to go back to my place after this? She's like, what? You're like, I'm so, like, you don't, you don't have drunk to like be like, oh, maybe we could like with a coworker. There's no like yeah. crazy like, yeah. I've always thought you were the hot one and slack, you know? I saw you favored in my gifts in that bitch trying to suck my dick. <laughs> She's like, Kevin. <laughs> We're at the exact same sobriety levels as we were at lunch as we are now. <laughs> right. Like, there's no fuck-ups in there. Yeah, like, you, you can't go- You can't be like, oh, man, I fucked a hefty woman. Uh, too much fresca. No. You can't say that. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's it's what we're doing right now, yep. same thing there. So yep. so there's no no crazy hookups. Nobody's doing blow in the bathroom. Maybe somebody's doing stevia in the corner. <laughs> But there's who not- goes to these bars? AA people? Yeah, I think AA people or people who want to socialize but don't drink. Like they they are out, they they're out there. I don't know if they're popular, like you said, but like it yeah. is like I think you go there on like dates. If it's like I'm sober, I'm sober. It's like oh, you can go share a fucking mocktail. I mean, but, there, there's, got, but there's gotta be like coffee though. There's gotta be some some stimulant. No, it's just you gotta be boofing Adderall <laughs> or something. Well, the stimulant is I don't know. It's it, the, the conversation. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> I do wonder, like, I, I I'm gonna go there hammered. Th- there are people that probably pregame that. Oh, I'm pregaming. Sixteen Jack and Cokes right before I get there. She's like, I'm gonna have a fucking a mint julep with just mint. What are you gonna have? <laughs> Fuck it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I wonder how many people are drunk and show up there. They're just walking down the street like trying to bar hop. Yeah. And they're just like, this tastes like Sprite. And like that's what it is. You fucking bitch. <laughs> There's no fucking alcohol in here. How am I supposed to beat my kids? You're like, Jesus Christ. Ronald, get out of here. I, but I'd be curious to go to one. I'm down. You probably could meet some very nice, wholesome women there. You know what? You're, all jokes aside, you're right. You're not getting your cock licked, but maybe you have a good conversation. Well, anyways, let's. I want to go to one. I'll get a Dr. Pepper, and you can get... Do they serve Red Bull there? That might be like crazy. Yeah. Like, you know, when you go to a bar and somebody's like, I'll get an AMF. You're like, you have problems, Kevin. 100%. Somebody getting a Red Bull at that bar, they're like, relax. Yeah, that guy's fighting somebody. <laughs> Red Bull has wings. No, it has cocaine. Guys, we're out. That's a, That's podcast. a podcast. We're going to Denmark. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much. We love you. Um, uh, yeah, go on Patreon, man. If you're not a Patreon member, go on Patreon. Four extra episodes uh, drops every Friday, ad free, and you can go on Stiff Socks Plus. Um, same audio bonus version, but only audio on uh, on Apple. So you can definitely do that. Support the boys and uh, come see me or Mr. Wallace on tour. And that is it. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Bye.